Farming some bitch here. So we are combining soybeans. This is some ground we bought last winter, running our new to us 9670. Never cut soybeans with it till last week. It's probably hard to tell in the bin, but I think it's doing a pretty darn nice job. Let's check out the action. So this ground was strip till back in March. It's very rare in Western New York we can do any field work in March, but it was very dry. So we hit it with an unpreferred zone builder. And we planted it around the 15th of May. They're group 1-6 soybeans. So a lot of the country grows a lot longer than that, but that's about all we can do. Everybody's been saying the stems are green and the beans are dry. Well, that's true here. You look at, you can see a few leaves on there, but uh, it's go time. We got the 379P. We got the old 8440 waiting down the end. We're gonna be dumping on the go here shortly. Stay tuned for more fun soybean action. So today's the first day of soybean harvest 2021. This is the first time I've cut beans with my nine, our 9670. So these beans were drilled, as you can see, in seven and a half inch rows. It's hard to tell, but this ground is real gravelly, so it dries out quick. So we try to plant seven and a half inch rows. So we have a dry spell that shades the ground better. And it works pretty good. They look pretty nice in the bin. I would say they're clean and beautiful and nice. They're about 13% moisture. We had a little rain last night, but the wind come out and it warmed up nice, so we're going. Love cutting some good soybeans. So if you're pulling your grain buggy with a 1980 tractor and using a 1978 Peterbilt to haul your beans, but you're in a 9670 combine. Does it still make you a loser or does it make you cool? I haven't decided yet. I'll say cool. Cutting a few soybeans tonight. They are dry, dry, dry. I don't know how fast the dew's gonna settle, if we'll be able to finish this last 15 acres or whatever, or we'll get toughed out. Last night when the dew come in, it come in fast and furious. So for those that don't get much dew or people that don't know anything about combining, when the beans get tough, they just don't go through the combine to thrash well. There's a couple green ones there. But when it's dry like this, they go through great. When it gets tough, you gotta stop. Some some places, in some conditions, you can run till midnight. Some places can run all night. Here, we usually get a real heavy dew as soon as the sun goes down. So we'll probably be done, uh, I don't know, eight o'clock our time. So, beans are good. This field, my wife rolled with a color packer, picked the stones, it's not that stony in this part of the field, but there's a couple gravel knobs and they're real, it's real stony. So we hit this ground with a speed disc, planted them on 30 inch rows. They're yielding pretty decent. They're nice and dry, they're 12% moisture. So we usually don't get beans that come off quite this dry. So we're, we're quite pleased. All day, the wind was blowing. Now the sun's going down seven o'clock at night and the wind just died. So I got to the end, turned around, I'm driving back into a dust cloud. That is pretty cool. I love harvesting dry soybeans. Many times we get into beans in this part of the world, western New York, and it is just too damp. By the time the sun goes down, we gotta quit. But tonight the beans are dry, the ground is dry, and uh, we're just gonna keep going, making some dust. We ain't got a lot to go, but another 45 minutes or an hour.
Nice looking beans. So our son Troy's running the old 8440. We got a 379 Peterbilt over there getting overloaded and we're cutting these beans. They're nice and dry. The ground is dry, the weather's good, chance of rain this weekend. And I always like to say, it's a great day to feed the world.